Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosanna and I am excited to take you through the Munich Christmas market today. You can see throughout the video, it is extremely, extremely crowded. We're heading to a beer garden next and there's going to be bits of London at the very end. There is so many stalls around the market. It's a must do when you're in Germany during a holiday season. There's food, there's souvenirs to buy and uh, most importantly, there's mud wine. These are like, they're tornado fries. They're not German, but super, super popular. We're gonna try it. Thank you. Okay. I hold it. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. This is adorable. The mold wine was actually really good. I was pretty surprised. I'm not usually a hot wine kind of girl. I don't think I've even ever tried it, but I felt like it was one of the things that you have to do. It was quite cool and you pay a deposit on your cup and I think it was something like eight euros. To be very honest, I don't even know how much I paid. Um, but I end up keeping the cup so they kept my 8 euro or something deposit. I did buy a couple of mini goods back home as souvenirs and my parents were like, don't buy that again. It's very soft. Okay, it's yes. chewy. Yeah, nah, no. so it's like honey. It's okay. Honey. But it tastes like Torone? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. But... Oh, it's banana. Maybe Fever Tales is like a Canadian thing. It looks like beaver tails. Wow. It's like these particles in Bologna, but it's Munich version of it. Traditional dress. We are heading to a beer garden for dinner. This is one that is incredibly famous. It has over 80,000 reviews on Google. Isn't that crazy? It is very hectic though. Again, it is incredibly busy and it's not peak season it's not any like special day or anything and what's really interesting about this is that you have to find your own seats so basically we were like in a bigger group but we're just walking around just trying to see if the tables were free up and we're just trying to kind of hover over people until they left it felt kind of strange but i guess that's how it is here and it is something very similar that we do in Hong Kong as well. We like a wait for people to finish their food and then we get their table. Um, of course, we got the massive liters of beer. I actually only drank like half of it. And there's these pretzels that are as big as your face. You have to like purchase them separately from like the pretzel dealers that come around the tables. It was so interesting. Wow, this place is absolutely amazing for like traditional German food. I'm so excited I got to try this. Hi everybody, welcome to London. I am so excited. Here is a quick room tour. The room is so beautiful. Let me just take off my shoes actually because it is carpet here. It's so beautiful. This is Nobu in Shoreditch and everything is just looks very modern. Look at this. So cute. Right under the TV. And I'm gonna assume this hidden bit here is the bathroom. Wow. I love the gold. Look at that. So cute. Very modern in here. Look at that. Cute. Very excited. 
very excited for my next few days. <sighs> it's like 9.30 at night. I have to eat and go to sleep. first time in Nobu for dinner. It was so good. I bawled out. That was my first time eating at Nobu in London for dinner. It was so good. I got the scallop with foie gras. So good. It just like melted in my mouth and I'm actually not sure if I've had caviar before. I got the um, Toro Tartare and Toro is my favorite type of like raw fish and had caviar on top and it came in this like big ice bowl which was so cool and I just got a single piece of Wagyu beef um, and it was just so lovely. It was just a little bit really close to like the speaker where the music was, so it's a little bit loud, but overall the vibe was really good and the food was really good. Um, my friends got the miso cod, like three of them did, so I almost wish I got that instead because it was definitely looked more filling, um, but I feel super satisfied because everything was so rich. If you do get a chance to come by oh my god love and i heard it's kim k's like one of her favorite restaurants which i didn't even know that um but now i'm super glad i tried it especially because i am staying in nobu today um i will see you next morning bye